want to increase your capacity to deal with life stressors or have more bandwidth to deal with everything that's going on in life, I refer to this as resilience. And one of the easy ways in which we can build resilience is a technique called savoring. And savoring is a skill in which we attend to, appreciate, and enhance our positive life experiences. The most important part of what I just said is that it's a skill which means we can build it, we can practice it and get better at it and thereby increase our resilience and our ability to deal with stress and anxiety. There's some pretty good research behind savoring as a technique. We know that uh, it can be associated with a decrease in depression and anxiety. It can help people handle life's traumatic events and major stressors. And uh, we know that it's overall really important in improving resilience, which is what I like to talk a lot about. And so there are a couple of ways in which you can use the act of savoring. So let's go back to that original definition. I said that it's a, a way or a skill in which you attend to. It means you have to start paying attention. We also have to appreciate what's happening around us. That's part of being, uh, you know, having gratitude for, for the good things that are happening all around us. And the third part, the enhancing, means that we have to process things that we enjoy on a deeper level. We all have a negativity bias as humans, meaning we give a lot more of our attention to negative things. And this is one way to counter that. So a couple of different techniques I like to um have people try when they're trying to learn to, to savor life's experiences more often. One of them is to use uh, your five senses. And so this is a way for you to enhance your experience. So when you notice something good is happening around you, and it doesn't have to be major, it can be like the sunset is amazing. Stop and pause and notice your five senses. Just spend a little bit of time checking in with your sight, with touch, smell, taste, and see what's going on. See if you can process the good that's happening around you at an even deeper level. This will help you to enhance it. In terms of appreciating it, one way to help you appreciate life's events is to write about it. Writing about an event allows us to process it at an even deeper level. It forces us to slow down. And I encourage people to write about it as if you're describing the event to someone who isn't there. And that helps you to, again, tap into those senses into a much deeper processing. And the third technique that's really helpful if you want to practice savoring is what's called as narration. So think about the positive moment that you're having in terms of if you were the narrator in your life story, what would you say? So you, instead of just sort of noticing the sunset, you might be like, I'm really enjoying the sunset. I love that sherbet color, or it reminds me of something in childhood, or, or describe it as a narrator would describe it rather than just sort of breezing through these experiences. And there's one caveat I want to say here, and it's that savoring isn't toxic positivity. We're not creating a positive experience where there isn't one. Instead, what we're doing is we're trying to slow down and notice all the good that is going on around us. So a part of it is just paying attention and noticing it in the moment and then using a couple of these exercises so that you can experience it for a little bit longer and a little bit deeper. It helps for your brain to just encode it, become part of your memory, to counter that negativity bias. And that's really just savoring, building your resilience. It's a simple practice that you can use to uh, improve your well-being, to increase resilience, and overall, overall just improve mental and physical health. If you like this, consider signing up for Take 5. It's my newsletter that talks about all kinds of tips, simple solutions for um, building resilience and well-being in your own life. Give savoring a try this week. Let me know how it goes.